If you've ever used a cell phone like an uh, iPhone or an Android phone to record yourself on video, you know that that is pretty difficult to do when you can't see what you're doing. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Filmic Remote app. I've got an iPad here and I've got the iPhone 12 Pro Max and you can do this with Android, you can do this with Android tablets, you could use two phones, you could use an iPod Touch. You just need to have two devices on the same platform and then you can get this set up. All right, we've established a connection between the Filmic Remote app and the Filmic Pro app on the iPhone. So you can see that there is a little bit of a delay here between the two devices, but that's okay. It's pretty fast. There's a couple of things you might run into. We're connected over Wi-Fi on the same Wi-Fi network. So if you've got like a super secure, like lockdown network, then you might have issues getting these things connected with each other. If you're just like me, then you've got a home studio and you really just want to connect these over your Wi-Fi network and you shouldn't have any issues doing that. Once we're connected, now we can do full control over Filmic Pro. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn on the manual controls and I'll run through exactly how I would set this up. So 30 frames per second, I need to double my shutter speed. I'm going to lock that in at one over 60, get it to one over 60, tap it to lock it in. And then I want my ISO pretty low. I've got lots of light in here, so I don't need to use ISO. And the next thing we'll do is check the white balance. So I want to make sure that the white balance looks good. If you have the cinematographer upgrade, you can still use Log V2. And if you're like me, you're using an older device, this is an iPad Air 2. It doesn't even support the Log V2 upgrade, but you can still use it through the remote, which is pretty cool. So next, we're gonna go and check out some of the remote control features. That's this menu at the top left corner. And basically we can control it like we have now, or we can go into this view here where you get more of a technical uh, scope that you can use. You can use all kinds of different scopes here. Personally, I just use histogram to make sure the levels are good. The thing with this is it's very technical and I'm a little bit more business focused. If, you, if you're starting a business, you're trying to grow an online business, then you may not necessarily want to get, you know, dig into this stuff. So let's not worry about it for now. We're gonna go out of here and we'll go back to the record mode. I'm gonna show you what to do instead of learning how to use scopes. So we're gonna open the analytics tool here at the bottom left corner. And we're just gonna try these controls up at the top. You wanna make sure that you have proper exposure. This is a quick and easy way to see it. If it's green, it's good. If it's blue, then it's a little bit too dark. If it's red, it's overexposed. So this is how I have it set up if you're using a tripod. But here's the thing, if I was using the cell phone to actually record this video right now, then I would probably want to be holding the iPad. So I'm going to show you how to set that up so you can film yourself. All right, there we go. We've got this set up so I can remotely monitor the image here. I can make sure I'm standing in the correct position if I'm trying to use rule of thirds and I can see what's happening on the phone. I'm using the best camera on the device. And so this is one of the ways that you could actually film yourself, make it super simple and easy. It'll just help you save time when you can actually monitor what's happening and you can use the best quality camera that you have available. If you'd like to learn any more about the Filmic Pro application, I've got a playlist of videos just for you right up here. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. And I can't wait to see you creating a big impact with your videos.